Hi everyone, welcome back to Gold Fries. Now this is the Invasion GT200 of which you see it is of a two-piece glass design of which you should be very familiar with right now. I'm not naming any other brands but you know which one you're referring to. And besides leaving it as just a review, I want to make this video educational. After all, the GT200 comes in two variants, one that is filled with fans, some 10 fans at about RM300-ish price range, or if you want to cut the cost, the bare basic version retails at about RM200 and has no fans. So what is this educational content about? Well, if you're buying it empty, you might want to consider adding some fans. So in this video, what I'm going through, besides the review of the case itself, I'm also going to show you intake versus exhaust using three fans. Just very simple fans, as you can see at the side setup here. Just three fans, intake and exhaust whether it makes any difference when it comes to the thermals, the temperature of the CPU, especially when it's re relying on the AIO at the top here. And with that said, let's begin with the review. As always, starting from the top, there are the buttons and input ports. The top comes with mounts for fans and AIO, and it has magnetic dust filter. The insides of the case is spacious with a raised motherboard tray that's part of such case design, so you can mount AIO on the lowered area. Rubber grommets are found on the case for management. The rear panel is perforated for air intake or exhaust purpose, but there's no dust filter over there. On the other side of the motherboard tray, there's a cage for mounting drives. This is what the case looks like with most of the components in place. For this build, I'm using the AMD Ryzen 3 4100 CPU. The motherboard of choice is the MSI B450 Tomahawk Max. I'm using a 480GB WD Green M.2 SSD. And for the memory, I'm using a T-Force Delta RGB with a total of 16GB capacity, running two sticks at 3600MHz. The graphics card is the Astro Radeon RX 6500 XT Phantom Gaming. The power supply is the Animax Max Pro 2 500W, and here's a view of the underside, and as you can see, there's plenty of room for stashing those non-modular cables. I'm using my used Silverstone PF240 AIO for this build with no RGB LED because I've mistakenly burned it before. Part of the pack is the Allside Triple Fan Kit which I mounted towards the front and one Allside Fan at the rear taken from one of my tower coolers. With that said, let's have a look at the configuration here. In this recording where you can see the beams across the, the beams as in the things that hold the fan, you know, those this kind of things. This is where the air is in intake mode. It doesn't look as nice as if I turn it around then you don't see those, those things and then it will be exhaust mode. So which one is better? So here's the results. You see that intake is better than exhaust. However, the performance, no difference. So it's a matter of do you want the appearance and lose a bit of the um, temperature? or go with the a bit ugly looking um, configuration and have slightly better temperatures. Personally, I would prefer the better looking and I don't mind that slightly, it's just 2 degrees Celsius at least on this one. But let's say if you're on a more powerful setup, let's say stronger graphics card, stronger CPU, then it's good to try again and see what's the difference, whether it's you're filling up the whole system with tree tree and tree whatever fans around or whatever configuration do do your due diligence in this video i'm just showing in this current setup what's the difference and actually i don't mind the difference because i rather to have the looks than you know having those things there and with that said the gt200 case from invasion is a nice case and definitely something worth your consideration if you're looking for a case like this that's all for this video. Thank you for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one. Do remember to subscribe to my channel if you haven't and bye bye.